Welcome back down the frame. I get a haircut. This thing. Now, mm -hmm. we're here. We're figuring it out. We did get a battery for this thing. Got a couple things that people have said. I mean, thickness of cable, maybe a bad solenoid. We don't know. So, what we did today, we went to the store and we got starter battery, which was that Duralast you saw at the beginning of this video. Oh, we got more cable to hook it up to the battery. And we also got connectors. So now we're gonna try to get it started. <laughs> I'm nervous, cause I don't know where to get another starter solenoid. Maybe bring it to AutoZone and see if they have it. Potentially, <clears throat> cause it might be like- A standard. Like a standard one, yeah. Yeah. We did look at the, the manual, which we have today too. So we're gonna try to wire it up correctly as well, which I think will help. <laughs> and if we can get that to spin and it still doesn't crank over, then we gotta worry about ignition and fuel. Without further ado, let's get down to the frame. The battery of choice coming in at a Duralast marine grade starting battery, 1,000 marine cranking amps, 135 reserve cranks. <laughs> That's what we got. I almost got an AGM one, which it's a matte, something matte. But anyway, it's like a different technology. It's more durable, less fluids, yada, yada, yada. But this was 70 bucks or 80 bucks, something like that. And the other one was like 160. So we went with this one. And in this box, we got post cables and then uh, got some connectors assorted and some uh, 10 gauge cable. The manual called for uh, one gauge cable, but they did not have that. So this is two gauge. I'm hoping it won't make a difference. Famous last words. We'll put this on here. So if we can't get this to work, we're gonna have to do some thinking. In the manual, it clearly states that those lines connect to those lines and those lines make the lines go spinny spinny. So we understand what we're doing now. Move the battery closer. This? The battery. Just the whole battery? Thanks. So like if you look here, I'm assuming that this is post 50, is this guy here. Okay. And it runs up into the harness, which mm -hmm. then runs up to the, the starter, you know, the key bass, switch here. Yeah. So I don't think that that's a ground. This post? Yeah, I think those just need to be connected. Right, so that's the signal out and that's the signal in. You know what I mean? Like this is power out, goes up to the key, and then it comes back. Mm. So we should just cross those two. So we need to go from here. So we need to go from power to this. Or do you yeah. think if we just hook power up here, then we bridge cross these it. two that it'll work? Yes. We could try it. Because that makes sense to me, right? You have the power sitting in here already from the battery. Do you have those crumb connectors? Oh, yeah. Can we use this still? Yeah. Thicker gauge? I know that gauge is getting hot, right? I'm pretty sure this is the same. I mean, we're only using this for the signal. Yeah, but that's why. I'm pretty sure this is also 10 gauge. Oh, this is 12 gauge. Uh, can we just try it with this? Sure. And then we'll break that open. Yeah, worst case scenario, cable <laughs> melts, and that's our fuse. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have a weak point somewhere. Okay. What was that? I touched this one with this. Which got the... <laughs> like, I almost need to tie this to this and then put a switch into power. Oh, Jesus. Is that a trying to spin maybe? And it's not out? Oh. Oh. That sounds real f good, dude. It's moving. I'm so confused as to what's happening. <laughs> also, this is, there's no ignition going in this, right? No. We need to wire that up too. Right, if we want to get sparked.
Is it on? Is it engaging? Like, I wonder if it's like like binding up. Yeah. Which might be a better play. Oh. <laughs> Gee, that sounds good. <laughs> WD-40 for the win. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's oh, good. It's cranky. Now. Now. Throw the coil on. Wow, a little bit of this silicone WD-40 did the job, huh? It rained outside, so we had to move inside. Jake's testing the coil because we've had some ignition problems. He seems puzzled. It does look old and crusty, so we might need a new one. But we weren't getting any spark at the spark at the spark plugs, and then we checked after that at the coil and nothing. So it's getting hot, but it's not presenting any spark. Okay, back from the store. We're gonna pull this thing back out, but uh, got a starter that resembles something that looked like the old one, which was actually funny that we were having a hard time getting the starter to spin. We sprayed some WD-40 on it, some silicone, and uh, she spun so much better. Uh, coil, we need to ground the coil. Okay, can you see it, Jake? Like, right there, one of you guys can? Mm -hmm. Nothing? What the? We the ground, then we just yeah, the other one was getting hot, so we know that connection was good. Where's the manual? Right here. So, science says. Yup. What? Look at it. To the test light. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I saw it. Yes. Let's go, dude. So that. So now we put that cap back on. We should have ignition. Technically. We'll, we'll pull a plug and see. We're going to. But it's kind of awesome when you figure something out. All right. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Get the gas. Yes! Let's go! Let's do it. Hey. I was so fired up when I had that epiphany. I was like, all right, that's how you do it. Good job. If it does go, we have to disconnect the battery to kill the engine. Yep. We no longer have a switch. No, that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Pumped up. Good. Should we pour a little gas in the carburetor? Try it, why not? I ain't scared. Just that it's good for that. Oh, that's blue. <laughs> hey Zach, drive that fire. Do you think <laughs> I should just be on the safe side, please? Whenever something like that happens, that yeah. instantly start to fire back up because it'll suck Sorry, the yeah. fire right down in the mud. Dude, it's so close. Nothing like a few hairs being seared on your arm.
All right, final attempt of the evening. If we can't get it going, we're going home and uh, rethinking our lives. But added more oil because it was low, which makes sense. We're running the system, so it's going through the oil cooler, the oil filter, all that good stuff. Uh, well, that was a day. What did we learn today? Woo, it was a journey. Let's see, we got everything, the battery. We learned about marine batteries and the difference between a deep, uh, deep cycle and starting battery, which is basically starting battery is meant for starting. It has a higher initial energy output than a deep cycle, which is meant for continued power. And then we learned about the coil and how that whole ignition system works and we solved our problems and you know, I don't really know what's happening right now, but we know we got fuel going to the rails. We know we have ignition and obviously we know we have air. So whether or not we have fuel going in, although we, you know what, we had, we had a lot of fuel going in. Yeah, we poured it in. <laughs> we had a lot of fuel going in, but maybe the air fuel mixture wasn't right. Don't know, uh, but it's gonna have to be saved for another day. Thank you guys for following along, being patient with us. If you have any ideas of what it could be, you know, leave a comment down below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time on Down to the Frame. See ya.